Hi there again everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel where you will find mostly affordable, practical, and easy DIYs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put one upside down and then the other one right side up is because it's more durable that way. This one really supports it. And then I just tie them with zip ties here on this location here. Of course you might want to use white so that it'll be more uniform and seamless i'm just using this different color so that our friends here who are visually impaired can see where i'm putting them okay so that's what i'm doing here and then i'm going to create another one here and just tie it up and we'll do fast motion here okay so i am going to be adding something that will block this basket from falling off towards the back because if i hang this underneath the sink or underneath the cabinet and if there's no wall behind it then the tendency is if i push it or if anybody in our house will push it too hard then it might fall and what I'm going to do, this is a simple hack. I'm going to be connecting two large zip ties because I cannot just use one zip tie. So it's not enough. So I need to connect them. Unfortunately, I don't have any colored zip ties. So bear with me as I connect just these two white ones as close as possible. So to connect them, one tail end will be inserted into this hole here making sure that it bites and it's not unraveling or disconnecting and i will even pull them try to pull them apart and no they're not disconnecting so i am going to be wrapping it here to create a barrier or something that will catch my basket and keep it from falling off so i'm just going to be tightening my zip ties and then cutting the excess zip ties so here it is and i made sure that it's tight enough so it doesn't slide down also and now i have a barrier to keep my basket from falling off now because the two sides are open i'm thinking of doing the same thing to the left and the right side of the basket so that it will not fall on either side so this time i am connecting three large zip ties together because my zip ties aren't long enough to be tied around this but if you can find something that is long enough then you don't need to connect three or two zip ties together so I'm just going to be repeating the same steps to the opposite side. And then I'm just adjusting, if you notice, I'm just adjusting where the knots are as best as I can. And then trimming the excess zip ties. So this is what it looks like. Now, I am concerned about this knots here at the back. I've already adjusted the best way I can, but I'm thinking because my basket is slotted, it may get hampered or it may get stuck there. And true enough, it's not really sliding smoothly because the excess or this bulky thing here the connection is protruding and the tendency is because the basket is slotted look it is hampering it or it poses as an obstacle and sometimes the slots you know captures the bulky ends of the zip ties so to solve that i'm going to use this smaller blue zip ties so you can see where i'm going to put them and i am going to be tying this portion here where there's a knot so that this will be 
flattened or tightened so that this will no longer be an obstacle like so see that now it doesn't look like it's going to be protruding anymore so what i'm going to do is repeat the same step on the opposite side i also want to mention by the way that you can use any other material not just zip ties you can use ribbons ropes twines anything that you think can do the job i'm just using zip ties because it's really durable and it's something that i already have on hand now testing it out after i repeated the same thing on the other side look it's not getting captured or trapped anymore inside the slots and now it is sliding smoothly now to give you an illustration if it is going to be hanging underneath the cabinet or under the sink in your kitchen I don't have four command hooks right now. I have this old one. It's not tacky anymore, to be honest, but I'm just going to give you an illustration on how to do it. So you'll need four of this command hooks and you're going to have the tacky portion or the sticky portion on the top and just put the hook underneath and then you'll put four. So one here, one there, and then two on the top. And then you are just going to probably eyeball it or estimate where you're going to be sticking it and then you're just going to be attaching it to the underside of your sink or under your cabinet wherever you're going to be using this i'm just using this again as an illustration i'm using my desk here making sure that if you have a door have enough clearance for the door to close so if it is under your sink I'm going to try with this, uh, just holding on to it. And you can use this to hold your sponges, your cleaning tools, or even your soap. And this will free up counter space, especially if it is very limited. And you can eliminate the clutter also on top of your kitchen counter. Next, I'm going to demonstrate to you where I'm really going to be using it in our home. And here it is. If you recall, I had a video which I'm going to be linking in the upper right hand corner of this video, uh, the laundry room reorganization that I did, you know, it's kind of like a mini makeover. And I used this wire shelf here that I got from the container store and it cost me like $7.99. I think they sell it at Ross and also some other retail stores maybe Lowe's have it too or home improvement stores now I have my dryer sheets and since the box that it came with is tall or too high that it will not fit that shelving unit I am using this instead and I've already kind of measured it to size it will fit inside it so for two dollars plus some cents uh, with the zip ties i am able to extend the capacity of our shelves so i'm just going to be using white zip ties here guys because i do not have medium or bigger zip ties that are colored so forgive me if i don't give you enough contrast for you to see it but i'm just going to be connecting the two shelves that I put together and then I am just going to connect underneath the existing shelving unit that we have in the laundry room. I'm just tying up four zip ties just crisscrossing again so that I can capture the intersection there. So a total of four zip ties, two at the front and then two at the back and then also, if you want to add more zip ties, it's up to you how many you want to add, but four is enough for me. So I cut the excess zip ties. So I can put my dryer sheet box as is, like so, and it frees up valuable shelf space, the one on top of it. But, you know, to pretty it up, I'm going to be using the white basket and putting all my remaining dryer sheets there and then i can just put it inside here in this shelf so 
That's where my gyro sheets are. You don't even have to pull out the basket because there's enough clearance for her hand and it is very functional. And I picture this several, making several of this and it only cost me $3 total. Well, not even three to be honest because I'm using the zip ties that I already own. But if you're gonna put a value on the zip ties and the basket comes Two in a pack for dollar dollar tree and then of course those shelf riser or those cabinet shelves I got two so total of I'm estimating three dollars so give it a thumbs up if you like it and let me know what you think so I have these two wires wire baskets these are the large rectangular ones that I also sell at Dollar Tree so you can use this underneath your sink and you can just use this like a drawer system where you can put some of your personal essentials and whatnot <laughs> and then on top you can also use it here you can just keep them loose like that and or you can also put zip ties on them if you want to but again like I said I kind of like the drawer system another way is do a back-to-back -back also so if you have four shelves and or four baskets you can just do do two on each side so one okay so two on the bottom and then two on the top so you can do that as well especially if you have the counter space okay if you're a crafter and you want to use this to store things then just put this on a corner of your countertop you can also use this for your bottom or underneath the sink and just put things that you would want to organize underneath, of course. Consider the height here, the height or the space, the clearance that you have, and then maybe the taller, lighter ones on the top. And another way also, possibilities are endless here. So you can expand this vertically or horizontally vertically would be of course one on top of each other horizontally is one next to each other or you can also do both you can expand up and to the sides so you can just connect the baskets on each level make sure that they have enough clearance use zip ties and then you can have as many shelves as you want and again this can stay on top of the counter or on your wall can hang on your wall so I'm just going to be creating one for my desktop and as you can see I have kind of made it sure that it's straight sometimes the legs are crooked or slanted so I just want to make sure that the legs also align with the wires of my basket so I'm just going to make sure that I kind of bend it a little bit and line them up here's the side view so that you can see what it looks like also sideways and then I am going to be tying the zip ties in a diagonal way i am just going to try to capture the intersection here that way the basket will not slide forward or backwards so i am going to be capturing this you see that it looks like a t or an x however you look at it and i'm going to tie my zip tie in diagonal to capture it and lock it in place and I'm repeating the same thing on the opposite side and I am going to test it out by pulling it and pushing it look it's not moving otherwise if I tied it up here just straight there's an inch there that it'll slide forward and back if I do that so capturing it diagonally will keep it in place and I repeated two more connections to the front and I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the upper shelf the only thing different with the upper shelf is that 
there's nothing for it to lean back on. Unlike the one at the bottom, it's leaning at the slat of the cabinet shelf or the shelf riser. So with this one, I'm just making sure that it's lining up. It lines up to the bottom shelf and I'm also making sure that it sits well on the legs of the cabinet shelf. And the same way that I tied my zip ties on the bottom shelf, I'm repeating the same thing, capturing the intersection on the upper shelf. Ta-da! What an easy, inexpensive DIY. Now I have a DIY organizer that stands on its own. And just wanna show you the back here. You can certainly add more zip ties here for a stronger connection. And the slats will be the ones, this position will be the ones to hold on to the hooks on the wall. And you can tie more zip ties again to the back here at the bottom shelf as well. And also position the hooks lining up to the ones that you will be positioning on the top shelf. So for demonstration purposes, again, I'm going to be using what I have already in place. I do have this carpenter nail. My apologies if it's kind of small because that's the one that I have already. I just want to show you that you can use carpenter nails, picture hooks, you know. You can also use a command hook on each side on top and then two more at the bottom to make sure that it doesn't slide or tilt. And I just want to show you the side view because sometimes I get comments asking, can you show the side view? <laughs> That's the reason why. And here on top of my desk, look, this can be a mail sorter for your incoming, outgoing mails. You can organize your stationaries. If you are a planner, you can use this to organize your planner stickers, your planning essentials, even your washies. And it doesn't eat up too much space on top of your desk and again if your desk is small you can hang it on the wall but look aside from the home office or your craft room you can use this also for entertaining i'm using this now to show that you can organize your plastic utensils or your forks your spoons your knives for entertaining if you want to have another tier you can add another shelf riser and then another basket of the same size so that you can have the other sets of utensils on the top but if you don't want to spend too much money you can use this these are the skinny baskets they come three in a pack or sometimes four or five in a pack a dollar tree and you can just use this so you can fit actually two skinny baskets inside this rectangular wire basket and then you can just separate your utensils that way so on the top would be maybe the forks and the spoons and at the bottom will be the knives or if you have fewer knives maybe the forks and the knives and the spoons at the bottom so the possibilities are endless and you can put two more of these baskets like i said they are three in a pack right now for a dollar since i know a lot of you are crafters like me and you love to paint probably just like me look at this i put all my acrylics and also my chalk paints at the bottom and then on the top I used these two skinny baskets to hold my paint brushes. The base of this one, the two baskets, as well as one cabinet shelf or riser, the total cost is $3. Of course, the add ons will be extra. And love it. And here's another idea for you. These baskets, these larger baskets that are similar to the skinny baskets, they come two in a pack for a dollar. And with the same kind of system that I connected earlier in the first part of this video, you can use this as well as a riser for this too. You can use this to organize just about anything. I picture this in a kitchen on the countertop next to your probably Keurig or coffee machine or your kettle. You can use this to organize your tea bags as well as your 
K-cups. You can put makeups, you can put your nail polishes. And I think for nail polishes, you're probably better off using the other one on the right with the paint bottles that I'm using right now. You can use those skinny baskets to separate those nail polishes so that they don't topple or fall over or fall off. And again, this is expandable. I'm just showing you more ideas here, additional ideas. You can connect another set here and then use more baskets. You can expand it upwards or vertically like so. And here is a viewer request. I have created this solution for organizing sponges uh, as well as, you know, the cleaning items. Aside from the one that I already showed earlier so that it's hidden, so it's not cluttering the countertop. But if you don't have enough space underneath the sink, but you have enough space on your countertop, then you can use this as well to organize your cleaning tools, sponges, and even your soaps. Unfortunately, I don't have any dispenser that's smaller than what I have now, but I think Dollar Tree sells the small soap dispensers that you can put and fit underneath. I wouldn't suggest a dispenser on top because it should only carry something that's lighter and the heavier ones at the bottom. And you can see here, I even inserted a brush. So if you have multiple brushes and it can fit the handle, through the slots then do it that way so that's it everyone thanks for joining me here today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please share to anyone who may be interested in this type of project if you're new to my channel welcome if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell icon so that you will not miss any of my new uploads i hope to talk to you again on my next video everyone have a great day and God bless. Bye-bye.